and you can blatantly see in the video that he's struggling. All right, I just finished from the gym. You can see it behind me. I literally can't stop thinking about it. It's two days after Lazar passed away during the CrossFit Games. And I can't fathom this actually happened. I don't know if it was Berkshire Hathaway's way to cheap out on lifeguards maybe I, I don't know but were these lifeguards trained I didn't see a lot of people towards the finish line or boats maybe one boat I think the, the, I mean I'm not going to show the video just respect out of the family but I mean it's all her fucking ex so but you literally had two people not really far away from this guy. And you could blatantly see in the video that he's struggling. He's not fucking going forward. He's fucking standing still, flailing all over the fucking place. And they just sat there. It got to the point where there was a fucking guy, like, he had to be like 150 feet away. I don't know. He was fucking a watch, a spectator, jumped in the fucking lake to find this guy and there's fucking two people next to him how does this happen Hiller has a great post that that you, like any water event there is like a shit ton of lifeguards people on kayaks boats like all this stuff all this stuff and you look at this video and there's like two two people on a fucking Stand up paddleboard and a boat like way out because it's probably the camera guy or whatever. Like there's not enough people. And where's the PFAA on, on this? They should have been like, no, we need more lifeguards or need more fucking facilities st like staff or people that are fucking know what they're doing. Like, I don't care if they're fucking volunteers. You have to pay these guys. You have to pay these guys because I would rather... Like, and if they said, hey, don't touch the people because it's going to ruin the event or whatever. I don't, if that was me, I don't give a shit. I will fucking rather save somebody than fucking ruin their CrossFit. Game. Like, and then, you know, I'd rather save somebody and ruin their CrossFit games year compared to having some, someone fucking dying. Yet I'm a fucking talking head, so I may not know what I'm talking about. But they, by the way it looked like in the video, there was not enough people in the water. And I don't know if those two people on the paddle boards were too busy watching Tia cross the finish line. There, there literally should be people watching from the ground, the fucking water, everywhere, looking and not watching the people pass the finish line. Constantly looking. There should have been more lifeguards. I don't care how many lifeguards you have. I don't care if you have fucking thousands just lined up down that aisle everyone's gonna be safe and yet people say like yeah triathlon triathletes they fucking die like during swimming yes i understand that but they're all going swimming all at once when you have like especially an iron man event like literally thousands of people and a staggered in, in a in a all-out start yeah it's gonna be really hard to notice all these people and someone drowning but this was a staggered start. There were five or six people, maybe 10. When you when they hit that turn, there were 10 people there. 10 people. How do you miss this? You know, I... I, I just... You know, we, if you told me someone was going to die, I, was, I would be like, no way. There's no way. Because... There's always safety measures and all that stuff. I, I, I'm just so mad because from I, I don't know the guy. I've never met him. I've never interviewed him on my podcast, but I've listened to him in multiple podcasts. And he seems like he seemed like a very nice guy. Like everyone was shook that he passed away because he was seemed like a, he was a friendly. I guess he was a friendly guy to everyone in CrossFit.
um, with the athletes. And it sucks that this actually had to happen. I feel bad for his family, especially his brother and all the other athletes that literally swam over him. How fucked up is that? Like you literally see like you, you like went over somebody that's dead or drowning and like you had no idea. Like that would, that would screw me up big time. But I don't know. I just had to talk about it because I just can't believe like someone died at the CrossFit Games. Someone actually died at the CrossFit Games. And there's a lot of people saying that family should sue the pants at a CrossFit. And they, they probably will. They probably will. And I, you know, and I, I've talked to other people in the CrossFit space and they say this year might be the end of CrossFit because when people see this, they're going to be like, you can die doing CrossFit. So I understand there could be some, he may have some complications, but still it doesn't matter. If you have a guy that's struggling, flailing all over the place, and you have two people really, really close to him, and they don't see it, that's a problem. That is a serious problem. I don't know if they were professional lifeguards. I don't know if this is their first time doing this, but you really need to get professional people. Like, I don't care how how much you have to pay these guys, you, it, it should be multiple people, multiple people on jet skis, everything, just to make sure they're safe. And this wouldn't have happened. So, I don't know, I just waited two days and everyone has a video out, out about this and I, I just still can't believe this actually happened. Um, I'm sorry, probably this is probably crappy audio, but I don't know. Maybe I'm an idiot. I'm just a talking head. What do I know? I don't, I, I'm literally in Gaines. I'm really in Gainesville right now and I'm not at the CrossFit Games. So I, I'm pretty much on the outside looking in. Um, but this definitely shouldn't have happened. And, you know, it's, it's sad. It's very sad.